As you hear the warning cry of the prairie hen calling her young to take refuge under her protecting wings, so does Mother Nature call her children to rest as she spreads her shawl of darkness over the west and gathers to her bosom her loved ones while the evening breeze sings a lullaby and the stars and the moon peep out of the heavens, lighting the way to a fairy land of dreams. But listen, the night wind carries other music to our ears, the lilting melodies of a happy group of cowboys as they lounge about their campfire singing the traditional songs of the range handed down from generations of long ago. Won't you join us? Pinto Pete and his ranch boys will be mighty glad to welcome you. took a chance bringing them pretty Randall sisters out here. Oh, I don't see why, Jack. You don't mind their company, do you? My gosh, no, but look at Sugar and Curly over there. Why, they're gazing at them like two lost calves in a hailstorm. Well, it does. <laughs> it sure does look like Cupid is about to run a brand on their hearts, doesn't it? Well, what do you reckon we ought to do, Jack? Well, we better get to singing before they go plumb loco. <laughs> Let's sing some. What do you say, huh? All right, Jack, let it go. Here sing go, something Reynolds. for the gal. All very wrong, you know. All right. Now I was standing round town just a wasting my time. I was out of the job, not a making a dime. When a feller walks up and he says, I suppose, you're a bronc right by the looks of your clothes. Well, you guesses me right, boy, I'm a good one, I say. Do you happen to have any bad ones today? Says he, I got one, and he sure likes to buck. And all the boys on him has had any love. Well, he says this old pony has never been rode. And the boys that gets on him is bound to get throwed. So I get so excited, and I ask what he pays. To ride that old broom tail for a couple of days. He offers a song book, and I says, I'm your man. I never seen a bronco that I couldn't fan. Why, the bronc never lived, don't never drew breath. That I couldn't ride till he star flung to death. So he says, get your saddle, boy, I'll give you a chance. And we hops in the buckboard and rides to the ranch. Stays until morning and just after Chuck, I goes out to see if this outlaw can buck. And down in the horse corral, standing all alone, was a little old cavallo, a strawberry roan. His legs was all spavin' and he had pigeon toes. Little pig eyes and a big Roman nose. Little pin ears that was split at the tip. And a big 44 branded right on his hip. A big old neck and a long of the jaw. I could tell by his looks he's a regular outlaw. But I gets on my spurs and I'm sure feeling fine. And I pulls down my hat and I shakes out my twine. Piles my loop on him, how well I know then. That before he gets rolled, I'll shore in my ten. But I gets my blind on him, and oh, what a fight. And I throws on my saddle and screws her down tight. Then I steps upon him, and I raises that blind. I'm right in his middle to watch him unwind. Oh, folks, I'm a telling you, he's sure coming wound. He seemed to quit living down here on the ground. What up towards the east, he come down towards the west. And a stick in his middle, I'm a doing my best. This pony's crow hopping, he surely can step. But I'm right in his middle and a building a rep. Then he turns his old belly right up to the sun. He sure is a sunfishing son of a gun. He's about the worst bucker I've seen on the range. He can turn on the nickel and leave you some change. I'm losing my stirrups and there goes my hat. I'm a yanking on leather and blind as a bat. With a big forward jump way he goes up on high. Leaves me setting on nothing way up in the sky. And I turns over twice and I comes back to earth. And I starts in a cussing the day of his birth. Now folks, there's old ponies I'm not able to ride. There's some of them left, I guess they haven't died. But I'll bet all my money that the man ain't alive. Can stick with old strawberry when he makes that high dive. Jack, you have the prettiest voice I believe I ever heard. Oh, hey, Miss Boy. <laughs> well, thanks. You know, I, I think you're sure awful nice, too. Well, she didn't say you was nice, Bughouse. 
She said she liked your voice. Oh, sure. <laughs> you can't sure play that big bass fiddle. Though. You're a wonderful musician, Shug. Well, thanks, Miss Ruth. I sure do. do, 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 do. Oh, look up there, <laughs> If you don't girls wait for him now. to finish, you'll die old age before he gets it out. Say, why don't you sing something for us, huh? All right, oh, Jack. Would you like idea. to hear some mountain music? Boy, I sure, sure would. Better go. Girls. Shorty, get that old harmonica and blow us out of tune. Let her go. You know, that was more fun dancing than a monkey could have on a mile of grapevine. Let's have another, shall we? Huh? All right, Jack. Oh, now, wait a minute there, Jack. These your girls ain't Apache Indian runners. Let's let them sit down and catch their breath. Sure, and while we're resting, the boss can sing one of them uh, pretty songs of his. And how about it, Pedro? Well, I sure got plenty of inspiration, boys. So come on, help me out, and we'll sing Wait Till the Sun Shines, Nelly. <laughs> Like this, but it's time to be. 
be getting you gals back home. Play just one more song, and then we'll go. What kind of song you want, Miss Ruth? We know one about a cowboy what got gored all to death by oh, steer. Oh, Curly, <laughs> Curly, you're trying to give these gals nightmares. Sing something kind of soothing. All right, let's sing Roll Jordan Roll. <laughs> David and Goliath, they had an argument and decided to settle it all the cost. Tell us about it, Joe. Why, David hit Goliath on the side of the head, and he heard it on the other side of Jordan. So I took off my coat and I rolled up my sleeve. Jordan is a hard road to travel. So I took off my coat and I rolled up my sleeve. Jordan is a hard road to travel. Next time you're tired and weary and you want a little cheering up, come out and join in the songs and the banter of your friends. Pinto Pete and his ranch boys, won't you? Until then, so long. Mm-hmm.